Our guest today is Salman Ali, SE leader at Riverbed. Welcome, Salman, to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Salman, let's begin with Jitex. How has it been so far, and what is the spotlight for uh, uh, Riverbed this year? See, Jitex is the flagship event, not just for Riverbed, but for any technology company. Right. Um, and has been delivering for years, mm. you know, for the regional market. Uh, right. For us also as Riverbed, we've been continuously participating in Jitex for years mm. and be able to demonstrate uh, our flagship solutions, new innovations, right. AI technology, which we have recently released and showcase right. those solutions back to our customers. Uh, right. Now, what have some of the highlights or milestones been this year for Riverbed? See, 2025 has mm. been a growth year for us. Right. We have grown 92% year on year, mm. which is fantastic. And mm. in today's world, you know, it's something which we should all share about. Absolutely. Um, and it's not just about business, right? It's mm. about technology because we are talking in Jitex and it's all about technology. So let's talk about what we have actually right. managed to deliver to our customers. We have introduced uh, the IOPS 2.0, which mm. is the innovation having mm. Gen AI, uh, Causal AI, Predictive AI, mm. uh, which integrates and which is the talk of the town these days, right? Every single right. customer is looking for AI. Mm. And our innovation is not just limited to AI. Mm. We have thought and we have sat with our enterprise customers. We've mm. discussed what challenges they've had mm. in recent past. What's the current challenge in the market and what's the challenge in IT? which they are facing. Mm. And we have learned from them that things like cloud, things like resiliency, mm. things like uh, redundancy, things right. like, uh, you know, hybrid workforce. Mm. So we need to work hand in hand with them in order to address those challenges, right? right so right. we have released technologies like mm. a unified agent, which mm. will help, especially after COVID, where everyone is right. working from home and, you right. know, uh, Cafes are, you know, mm. workplace, uh, uh, home is a workplace, anywhere where they are, including airports, right? right? So we've made sure that people are getting consistent experience and we're able to monitor, observe, and get the analytics, what matters to business the most. Right. And that's one of the things which we have done in 2025 as well. Right. Now, you spoke of some challenges uh, when it comes to AI. What do you think is the most significant challenge that enterprises face today when it comes to AI and its uh, surrounding you know uh, whatever is relevant to the country i think the most uh, the biggest challenge which everyone has mm. is uh, the ocean of data ah, right. right the amount of data which is coming into us at the mm. moment to any enterprise organization is immense right now how do you deal with that kind of data mm. how do you treat that data how do you sanitize that data right. and how do you take the right analytics out mm. to what matters to your business the most right because the data is every single thing which is coming in Right. And we shouldn't be looking at every single thing, right? Because time's actually Absolutely. money, right? Right. So we want what we are doing with our customers is making sure that we analyze that data, we extract the crucial information what matters to business the most, right. analyze them, present them in a much, much more simply white form so mm. the business can actually see who's being impacted, what is being impacted, mm. when is being impacted, and what remediation should be applied on it. Right. in order to automate this process because right, that's what right. AI talks mm. about, right? So the data is the most crucial thing. Mm. And the data comes in from people, right. from processes, mm. from applications, and from the data center. Right. And all of these things can be anywhere, on-premise, mm. in the cloud, and hybrid networks. Mm. So that's what the complexity of today's world is. Absolutely. Now, uh, how how is Riverbed stepping in to help uh, businesses overcome these AI challenges. Yeah, that's 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 a great question because you send us the data mm. and for you to look into all of that data and extract the analytics, you need to have uh, a huge force. You need to have right. 20 people, 30 people. Mm. And those 30 people would be investing time. So one right. of the things which we have always been talking about for years and years, not just in JIDEX 2025 and 24, 23 and years before as well, is how do we shift left? How right. do we make sure mm. that we are spending time to what matters to business the most. Right. We are taking those strategic decisions. You, we're not spending time in order to troubleshoot the issues, right? right, right. We're spending time in order to strategize and mm. enhance our business. Mm. So what Riverbed is doing is we're gathering all of the data mm. from any location, any user, mm. which is operating from anywhere, assessing, analyzing that data and presenting that from a unified uh, dashboard. So right. now those users are using applications from those devices over a network. Mm. So what is the most crucial thing is to collect 
non sample data from every single user for every single app mm. and for every single transaction that's right. how you start looking into what matters to business the mm. most what is the impact of that mm. and eventually map it for the dollar value so that the customers can talk about rois and saving mm. so you kind of trying to customize data or so kind of trying to give an intelligent dimension to the data exactly so what we do yeah. is we take the data in mm. we have our own data ocean mm. we put that data in there we analyze that data we match it with the similar sort of industry correct, which is correct. there so that mm. we can what we call it dxi scoring right, right? digital right. indexing right. and scoring so we mm. match it with how the others are ex mm. actually experiencing mm. and not just work on people sentiment right because sentiment is something which can be manipulated data you cannot manipulate correct, right correct. so you have to match the sentiments with the data and that's how you get the real picture and that's what we as riverbed do absolutely now um, over the past year let's say uh, which new technologies or platforms have you explored or adopted and what key insights or lessons have you learned from that so see in past few years one of the things which everyone talks about and it's talk of the town here in jitex 2025 mm. as well is machine learning and ai mm. Right. If you are not able to embrace and adopt machine learning in AI into observability, you are getting into enterprise networks with blind eye, mm. and and running an enterprise network in today's world completely blinded would not give you the right outcomes, mm. right? Because complexity in today's world is increasing, right? right? We are talking about resilience. We are talking about hybrid workforce. We are talking about automation. We are talking about machine learning. We are talking about uh cloud technologies we're talking about uh, hotel we, there are so many new technologies mm -hmm. out there so it is not making our life simple right it's actually complexing the right. whole it environment right. and making sure that you get the right outcome but mm. in order for you to get the right outcome you need to get the right analytics right Absolutely. eyes and ears into the network Absolutely. and that's what we as riverbed are doing so we are analyzing that data we are assessing that data yeah we are collecting that data mm. and we are working with every single individual inside the organization be it application team be it cloud team be it networks team be it infrastructure team be it security team mm. and giving them the outcomes based mm. on the data which is all centralized so that no one comes back and mm. challenges you because right. they're all coming in from the same source right but all of them they're getting the outcome based on what matters to them the most right, right. so the security right. when they look at it they look at it from the security aspect are they are there any 404 errors are there any challenges is their security being compromised is data being compromised right. if it's being compromised who is being impacted and what what can we fix right and eventually apply technologies like uh, artificial intelligence in order to automate things right. so that we're not spending time in fixing these usual issues mm. right i don't want to spend time in fixing small problems something right. which i can automate mm. something which i can remediate right. something which is happening every now and then mm. um service restart you know something which actually can give me um a feedback on when i was using let's say x right. version of my mm. application now when i move to y version has it actually impacted my uh, productivity positively or not right so Absolutely. these are the things which you want to automate mm. once you have automated all of this you start focusing more on strategic decisions right, right? if i am implementing application a and i want to move towards application b mm. what my migration impact would be mm. if right. if there would be an impact would that impact be positive or mm. negative and this is exactly where our solutions which helps you gain visibility and performance based analytics and gives you the right unified visibility and observability mm. across mm. your it infrastructure be it applications databases networks cloud uh, and gives you those right views so that you can look into the right analytics and get the right outcome and eventually fix those issues as well absolutely now where would you say organizations could find solid roi from ai yeah see everyone asks for ai mm -hmm. right every every single customer we work with is looking for some dollar savings right right, right. and i think i think that's how an any enterprise should be looking into procuring any single solution mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. eventually it's the investment which they are mm -hmm. doing So observability AI and riverbed AI comes in from different ways. Mm. Now, first thing we need to think and see mm. how we are able to shift left. So we are not spending time, right? right Instead, right. spending time on troubleshooting things, mm. we're able to reduce what we call it mean time to resolve the issues mm. Mm. rather than mean time to fix the issues. Mm. Because fixing part is a lot more easier. Right. You spend a lot more time 
in finding where the problem is. Once mm. you know where the problem is, you go and fix it, correct, right? Correct. So that's where the ROI comes in from. And it's not just limited to these two things. Think of uh, the refresh of your hardware. Mm. A lot of our customers, we have learned that they do random refresh after three years, not realizing mm. whether refresh is actually required or not, right? Right, right. What additional RAM would actually help the customers get the right outcomes or the experience. Mm -hmm. Think of things like when I am migrating towards new thing, how the adoption of that new license is. Mm, In today's right. world, it's all subscription, right? So if I purchase a license of 1,000 users and 300 of them are using my subscription license, mm -hmm. I am actually wasting 700 user license for no reason, right? So I want to look right. into adoption. I want to look into migration. I have to look into uh, the outcomes mm. plus uh, things like device refresh, mm. things like uh, the adoption of cloud, things like the investment which I've done on subscription-based right. technology right. and applications. And that's how the ROI starts coming in. Absolutely. Now, what are Riverbed's key differentiators in the market? See, I, I will start and I'll stop at one single thing, mm. which is unification of every single silo, which every enterprise organization in today's world have. Right. Believe it or not, in, even in today's world, although we've been talking about monitoring, visibility, and mm. observability, which mm. are the three keywords for years and years. Right. And Riverbed has been in observability market, and we actually started to develop and enhance this market more than a decade back. Mm. But when we were going and talking to customers, the first challenge which every single customer had mm. was how do we resolve and how do we fix those war rooms which gets created when I invite my application network and security team into a single mm. room. And everyone has um, uh, you know, shared their uh, concern that people start blaming each other. Right. right? You have a challenge, that's not my problem. You have a problem, it's not my challenge because application is working fine. Right. So the crucial thing is how do you unify these mm. uh, different silos? Right. So the key thing here is the data. If the data set is similar, you would be able to look into the right insight from right. for your own needs. Mm. And you have a centralized platform where I want to drill down, being an application owner, I can drill down. Right. Someone else wants to drill down, being mm. a network owner, he can drill down. Mm. But all of them should go to eventually to the same data set. Right. So unification right. of this is what matters uh, to the organization. That's what we are resolving. And that's how we are breaking those silos of today's world. Absolutely. Now, how do partnerships with organizations like Reach Digital help ensure that customers gain the maximum value from your solutions portfolio? It's very crucial. You know, mm. we, when we have partnered with uh, um, organizations like Reach Digital, right. it helps us gain hands and feet on the ground. Mm. And not just that, making sure that they are able to put solutions together. Right. Because when you talk about observability, mm. uh, you're not putting or you're not resolving one single pain. Um, partners who help us um, understand the need of the customer. They're not resolving observability as a pain. Mm. In fact, they are helping customer adopt mm. newer technologies, mm. enhance on solutions which they've been using, you know, historically, uh, things uh, which they want to uh, upgrade and mm. adopt like cloud and eventually use solutions which will protect their investment. And that right. is the reason why the partnerships uh, becomes a very, very critical component. Mm. So though we are not tying up and we're not selling to the customer. Mm. Actually, we're becoming part of their journey mm. for an adoption of a technology which they are doing. And we want to ensure the investment which they are doing for that technology is protected, not just for now, but right. for the next coming next. years. Right. Riverbed is, I think, customer first. And it's, it's Always. I like this part about being part of the customer journey. Always. That's, Always. That's, that's what matters, I think. So thank that you very true. much for the insights. Thank you very much thank for having us and giving us thank this you. fantastic thank opportunity. You.